Welcome to Insight Builder channel. Linux learners, Python learners, and command line ninjas. This is a three part series, and this video is the second one in the three part series. Mastering set with five commands, and we are going to do that mastery right on the Kaggle environment inside your browser. If you are not aware of Kaggle environment, or if you are not even aware of what is said or Linux, all this will be taken care in this video also. And if you want a in detail understanding about Linux and getting all these environments, what are these environments that I'm talking about, do take a look at my the playlist that is there in my YouTube channel. The playlist name is Exploring the Top Challenges that Linux Solves. That playlist will explain how to get hold of seven different ways of uh, Linux environments, seven different Linux environments. Take a look at that, you will get a very good, fair idea. I will also be uh, sharing the link, linking that video along with this video. The point here is that we will be using Kaggle environment. The point of using Kaggle environment is that it has got the environment where you can practice the command. It will also give you the data sets, the files on which you can uh, practice the commands. It is all available in one place and it, it is shareable. So all I need to do is that I need to give the link, the link that I'm going to show in a couple of minutes in, during the practice time. All I need to do is give this link and this link is already given in the YouTube description. Take a look at that and we will start working from there. Do sign up for Kaggle if you are not signed up yet and then keep signed in so that you can go to the next step. Before we go to the practice step, ensure that you know what you are going to do. We are going to work with said command, the stream editor. Stream editor is going to help us to replace words, find and replace words. We use this all the time, right? In our word pad, in our notepad. You know what is the difference when it comes to said? You actually don't need to open the file. Yes, you heard me right. You are going to change the things inside the file without actually opening it. That is extremely powerful. And this is actually required in Linux environment because everything in Linux environment is a file. And if you're going to work with Linux environment, if you are even thinking remotely about data engineering or data analysis or something related to big data, believe me guys, you should master set because that is going to help you to do a lot of things without even opening the files. If you are afraid of Vim, in fact, many are afraid of Vim, then master set. You can do the switching, changing without actually looking at even opening the file and master, uh, changing it in Vim. But still, I will be linking the Vim uh, tutorial also along with this uh, particular video. Take a look at that. It is very simple, guys. Once you can, uh, once you master the environment, uh, practice environment, then you do the practice inside the environment again and again. Any Linux tutorial. Linux tool is easy, very easy actually. So the, the video that I will be linking will help you with that also for the game. Now, getting back to set. So we can, we are going to do the I switch. We are going to use the E switch. We are going to uh, do a file, uh, directly modify the file by inserting additional data into the, uh, into the existing file. All these five different activities are extremely powerful. Okay, once you see it in action, you will really start understanding the importance of it. So without further ado, let us get into the practice session by using this link. Click on this link that is provided in the YouTube description. You will be heading to Kaggle.com. Once you head to Kaggle.com, in the Kaggle.com, you will be having such a link. Ensure that you are signed in. And then if you are not getting that, just paste the link. Click on edit. Once you click on edit, you will be entering into the uh, draft session. So the session where you will start working on the environment. So the environment contains both the data as well as the commands that you are going to follow. This Kaggle environment is actually a Python environment to begin with. But we have to use exclamation mark along with the Linux commands to make Linux commands to work. So I am showing you the data set here. You see the various data set. This will all come by default. You don't need to do anything. This will come along with the notebook link that I have provided, so everything is set up already. And I have started the draft session by clicking the play button. You saw it a moment ago. 
I'm just showing you around the notebook so that you can get a feel of it. Do open your own Kaggle environment and start following along. So this is the first step where I'm playing the set command to get the help, to check the help of set command, the stream editor. You see that with the exclamation mark, I am able to get the uh, Linux commands to work. So we are going to start working on each and every step. We have seen what is available. Next, we are going, I am showing you the various switches that is available, the E switch, the I switch, the uh, U switch, but we will be working on very limited number of options. You can uh, take a look at that. Before we start working on, we need to use, we need to use all uh, exclamation mark in front of the Linux commands. The cat is a Linux command which opens the, the file that is inside the DMART folder and I am going to look at the product list.csv. So this file is what I am doing the cat command over there. Cat command actually reads the file and prints it out. But I am using the exclamation mark. Take a look at that. Next, I am doing the grep command to check how many times the camera word has occurred inside the product list. That, that is the word that I am going to replace. If you are new to grep, I will be providing a link where I give you the easiest way, six commands to master grep. Take a look at that. You can also practice it here by using different words. Now the switching has started. So we are using the E switch along with the S slash camera slash smartphone. So camera word will be converted to smartphone. So you see that it is changed to smartphone. Wherever there is camera, it has been converted to smartphone. You can take a look. Yeah, I am showing the grip. That is why I did the grip. So wherever there was camera, now it has been converted to smartphone. If you want, you can slow down the video. I have kept it fast so that guys who want to review it can do it really fast. Next, if I want to do two different words in, in single go, I can use e-switch twice. I'm going to change the camera and the game word to smartphone and sport respectively. And you see that camera is already changed and each and also the game, you will see that sport pad. That it is actually a game pad. It is coming as sport pad. You can check it in the actual uh, product uh, list.csv you can do the experimenting in the next cell directly there and uh, wherever there is hash it is called as a comment in python so that is why i put the hash there and now i am copying the file from uh, database uh, backups to kaggle working because kaggle working is the only place where you can keep your uh, where you have the right access inside the kaggle environment so what I am doing is, I am going to do some things directly on the file itself. I am going to search and replace and write to the file. So that is why I am doing the copying. Okay, you understood the uh, purpose. I am going to do some more experiments. You will see that after I do cp command and uh, I uh, see, you see the product list.csv file has come here. That is because of the cp command, the exclamation cp command. Next, I'm going to use I switch. I switch is directly going to replace the words, the same words I'm going to use, but I'm going to change in the Kaggle working product list. Let's see the difference here. Kaggle working product list. I'll be right now using exclamation cat command on Kaggle slash working slash product list dot CSV to show you that camera word and the smartphone camera and the game, uh, game word has occurrence has been change to smartphone and sport. So both of this has been already done. I will be just showing the first 10 lines for your reference. Head is again a Linux command. Head will show only the lines at the top of the file to whatever numbers you show, whatever number you ask. So in case of n, it is 10. And next, if you want to, uh, if you want to actually check the actual file, so uh, see, this is a copied file, right? This copied file I already modified, but the original file that is there in the database backup, I'll be copying the whole uh, uh, whole path right now because in Kaggle environment, you should always give the complete path. So I'm copying the complete path now and I'm going to do the cat command on it to show you that the original file was not changed. The original file will still remain the same. And you'll see that in that file, there will be camera as well as uh, game by default without any changes so you see that camera is already there you can you can remove the head uh, command and you can see that it will be there and the vertical uh, uh, line you see it is called as pipe so you can pipe between one command to another command 
in Linux. So all these are Linux uh, commands that you can practice. Okay, now we are going to write the data from one file to another file. But for that, you need to create a file, correct? So I am using echo command and I am writing the sentence into the file called dat underscore. So in a moment, you will see that, yeah, you see the dat underscore file dot text has got created. Inside that, I have written the sentence. This file is in, this file is going to be written into, uh, this line will be added to product list file in working, uh, tabby working folder. So I have made the sentence into the file. Now I'm going to use set with one R. That is one of the commands that you need to use. You can, one is the location of the uh, list. So you see the product list.csv does not have the any lines additional line. But once I execute this, you will see in the second line of the file, you will have a new. So you see the second line. This line will be added to the product list. Uh, and in programming, the first line is always zero. The second line is one. So that is why you see when I use one R, the R is the record. So that is how it has come. Now, this command with the N switch and the P switch is going to only execute and print wherever the camera occurrence is there. So in case of uh, product list, there is no any camera occurrence. So that is why I'm not getting any feedback. So I'm going to change the command now because that was a mistake from my side. I'm changing it to gaming. In the gaming, if you see that I will get all the occurrences of gaming inside the product list.csv. So the switch that you are using is N hyphen N switch with along with the P switch. If you don't use the P switch, you will not get any output. So ensure that you are using the P switch after the slash. Next is printing the lines where whichever lines we want. So I want to print the lines from one to seven. So I am going to use again the N switch. I'm not going to do any kind of changes and I'm able to print the line from one to seven. Next, I'm going to print the line from seven to 10 and I'm going to change the word cam to smart. And then I realized, okay, I'm making the same mistake. There's no camera anymore. So now I need to change smart to super. So once I do this, you'll see that all these smartphones, whichever is between seven to 10, that is very important. Whichever is between 7 to 10, you see, instead of smartphone, it is super phone now. So you saw that in, in the short, short duration, you came across all these five different ways of working with set command. And all of these things were done without actually opening the file. That is the crucial thing, guys. We edited the file without actually looking at the, uh, without manually going and typing any data inside the file. This is really powerful. And once you start using the uh, the last option, inserting data, modifying the uh, respective rows, only the particular uh, rows that you want to modify, all these are very powerful commands. Do practice it. You have tagged an announcement to practice. Take it for a ride and see how it comes. All you need to do is sign in, do a sign up with Kaggle and use this link to head to the notebook. The primary intention of this video is to help you guys practice. The This is a you know the core philosophy of all my videos that you should be able to practice and the environment that is available for practice should be easily replicable. So anywhere you go, you can get the Kaggle environment and you can start practicing with in a drop of a hat. So that is more important. Once you can practice anywhere, the interest will be there with you always. And Linux commands are, uh, mastered by practicing only and in no time will be a command line ninja this is the reason why i even you know called you guys out as command line ninjas once you see this commands in action you will know that how to use it and where to use it and when others see you using this you will really really feel you know out of this world i hope that you like this content and do share it with others and uh, most importantly subscribe to this channel because there are other series of video, other uh, list of videos that I have planned, especially the next video will be about awk command. That will be one of the most important commands that you need to learn in Linux. And all these commands also can be used with bash scripting also. So be ready to you know master bash scripting in near future. I don't need to even tell you to master bash scripting because once you know all these commands, you can actually chain it together and have a lot of fun. So most important things is guys, stay tuned for the next video. Till the next video about our four words.
practice, 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 practice. See you guys.